Here I'm going to show you how to do uh, an upgrade of a recorder or camera using the iPulse device manager. We're going to search for our devices. It goes out, finds our devices. Uh, for the recorder, some of them we have to select them or select all, uh, do a status update. If we don't and try to do firmware upgrade, it gives us an error message. You can see the firmware version is not listed. Do status update. Um, it asks us to force a login as administrator. Um, it comes back with our version. From there, we can do an upgrade firmware. We can then browse, click on File Open, select the firmware file we want, and then we can tell it when to do the upgrade and how to do the upgrade. We can do a parallel upgrade where we upgrade multiple devices at once, or sequentially where we do one, then the next, then the next. We can start the upgrade now when we click the Start button. We can start it at a time from now or at a specific time. Uh, so at, at night, during lunchtime, during some scheduled downtime, things like that. Uh, when we're ready, we can hit start, and then the upgrade will proceed. And you'll see it uh, connects up to the recorder, uh, and it'll give us a status message, a status bar, um, going across as it proceeds with the upgrade. And then it'll go along 5%, 10%, and so on uh, until we're all finished. Uh, when it's done, it'll get to 100%. It'll then say complete, uh, and then it will reboot. Uh, you'll see on the right it says new version. Uh, often that new version number doesn't reflect the, the, the new update until after the unit reboots. And again, it will reboot automatically when it's done. Uh, so typically, when this is all done, we'll close the screen. We'll go back to the main search screen, and then we'll do a search again after the unit has come back online. Uh, and then we'll see the new uh, firmware version. Just a reminder, we can also upgrade devices through the web browser, through the web page of each unit. Uh, for the recorders, we can also put a USB drive uh, with the firmware file um, on them and upgrade them directly at the unit uh, or remotely using the USB. Uh, we can also use our uh, management small software, the Smart Viewer and SSM, to push out updates. Now you can see we're 100%. Uh, in a couple seconds, they'll give us a um, status message saying upgrade complete. Um, and then it, it should show us uh, the version numbers to the right. There we go, success. And it also now shows the new version number there.